Every winter, people in southern Wisconsin take advantage of some of the state's finest assets, the lakes and the ice. Yeah, but this year, two big events have been either canceled or modified because of those warmer temperatures. Clean Lakes Alliance had to move its annual frozen assets fundraiser off the ice. The organization also canceled kites on Mendota. Now UW-Madison is rethinking its winter carnival, where one of the highlights is a replica of Lady Liberty that appears to be coming out of the ice have very variable ice conditions on the lake and the warm forecast for the rest of the week. We're expecting to lose another inch of ice or so by the end of the week. So we have elected to put Lady Liberty on Library Mall out in front of the Memorial Union. She says hopefully the warmer weather encourages more people to come out. And if you do decide to take part in any activity on the ice, experts say do so carefully. New at 10, Grace Hodek has you covered on why they call the ice this winter sketchy and what it could mean for the rest of the season. It's a view that never gets old for Hillary Dugan. I love being beside Lake Mendota. I mean, I get to come to work every day and see the ice conditions. She's an associate professor at UW Center of Limnology, and having been there for nearly 10 years, she calls this winter odd. When people ask me about the state of the ice this winter, I would say it's a little sketchy. It's in this really in-between state where, yeah, it's people have been out and they've been safe and they've been enjoying the lake ice. You know, but we we could see that change at any point. The center has kept a close eye on the ice since 1855. Dugan says there's really no telling how long Lake Mendota will be frozen over, but she says it might not be much longer. We have an extremely long record for when the Madison lakes were frozen. It's one of the longest records in the field of limnology. Um, and so we can tell like how weird this year is, and it's certainly looking like it might be one of the shortest durations we've ever measured. Lake Mendota's shortest time spent frozen was 21 days. The second shortest was 47 days. Lake Mendota would need to melt before March 2nd to beat that. The sun isn't all that high in the sky, which means the lakes also aren't receiving as much solar radiation. And so that's why, you know, in late March or April, when we normally have conditions like this, things seem to melt a lot more quickly. Dugan says every time the center thinks the ice is going to melt, things change. But she says overall, they're seeing the ice stick around less and less. Historically, it might have been four months and now we're approaching, you know, maybe two months. So a lot of a lot less time that the lake's frozen. In Madison, Grace Hodak, 27 News.